this video is more on a, a more serious note. Uh, coronavirus, COVID-19 is about to get pretty bad here in North America. Is Star Citizens CitizenCon 2020 in October at risk? Let's take a look. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. I am Montoya. North America is about to get hit with its dose of uh, COVID-19. Now, if you've been uh, living under a rock, maybe you missed this, but this has been massive almost everywhere else in the world, China, where it started. South Korea got hit pretty hard. Uh, I got some interesting stats about the individuals who passed away from this in South Korea. We'll take a look at that in a bit. Uh, North America, for the most part, has been spared, but that is about to change this coming week. Just over the weekend, uh, about uh, 20 clicks south of me in Washington State, uh, there was the first, the first corona, the COVID-19 death, uh, an individual who was, I believe he was a bit older, passed away. Now, to die from the symptoms of COVID-19 takes about a week or two weeks until it's that bad. So that means he was infected about two weeks ago. This individual had not traveled out of state. He was infected by someone else. Uh, so this has been going around Washington State for at least two weeks minimum. And you're about to see a lot more cases come out. In fact, the reason I just decided to put this video out now, I was going to actually do it later, is that I was just browsing the news and now six people have died from coronavirus in Washington State. Terrible news. Uh, and this is only going to get worse as time goes on. Now, uh, we already saw several companies uh, pull out of PAX East. Captain Richard was just there. And crowds are pretty good, but uh, CD Projekt Red and PUBG abandoned PAX East, didn't want to show up. Over the past week, also, EVE FanFest cancelled. If you don't know, EVE Online is probably one of the most success successful MMOs of the past decade, and EVE FanFest is their annual event they have in Iceland. Now, let me just uh, refresh my memory here on uh, the numbers in Iceland, because they had one case last week and at the moment in iceland they have three confirmed cases so uh they also getting hit and obviously they want to protect that island as much as possible canceling eve fan fest which is terrible for all the eve fans uh more recently twitter ceo pulls out of south southwest petition to cancel conference reaches fifteen thousand signatures and over the past week also gdc 2020 postponed if not cancelled uh, the Game Developer Conference, which uh, is always an exciting event, postponed. Now, to jump back, before you start freaking about about uh, the coronavirus, uh, let me take a look at the stats that I found from the individuals who died from this in South Korea, and they keep some pretty good records. And it seems overwhelmingly that uh, if you are in the 60-plus bracket, between 60 uh, to 80 years old plus, uh, you are in the high risk bracket. Now, all these individuals had some underlying health issues too, which made things worse. But uh, generally, if you are younger and healthier, there isn't too much of an issue. You'll have flu-like symptoms and you'll get over it. If you are older and have respiratory problems, then you are definitely at higher risk. So what should you do to avoid this? Well, generally, like any flu outbreak, wash hands, stay away from public places, which for most of you isn't a problem. And, uh, you know, just generally make sure that uh, you don't stick your finger in your eye after you've been outside. Uh, wash hands constantly and just take precautions. Uh, other than that, uh, if you want more information, we actually do have an ongoing coronavirus COVID-19 thread on our forums, testquadrant.com. Drop in there. We do update with more information regularly. And uh, hopefully this all blows over by... October, but the, the way things are looking right now, if Citizen, if CitizenCon was to be held in April or May, they would be canceling it right now. But because we are scheduled for October, there is a chance this dies down by October. In fact, where's that plot I saw here? Plots. Uh, this information comes from the Johns Hopkins uh, mobile version and uh, the chart up here is the cases we saw in China uh, so that's been flattening out if you can believe these numbers and uh, the chart the green line here is a total number of individuals recovering so obviously good to see that now the yellow line is what you got to be watching here because all other locations in the world other than mainland China this is about to go up a lot over the next week or two and uh if this line, this yellow line, keeps on going up right into October, 
I'm sorry to say it, but uh, SizzleCon may be at risk. So I'm not trying to fear monger here, just showing you what uh, numbers we have so far. If you have more information you'd like to share on COVID-19 uh, or like just read more about it, uh, drop our thread over there. And uh, yeah, sorry, not a, a good news video, but uh, just got to put this out there and uh, let you know what is happening. Uh, stay healthy, be safe.